Welcome back guys, uh, welcome to another session of Shomu's Biology Protein Study. So again we will be talking about here today about a protein and this is about cadherin. Now cadherin again is a very important protein for the cellular junctions uh, and it's about the extracellular matrix and how the intracellular cytoskeleton actually crosstalk between themselves to maintain the cellular structural integrity. So let's talk about what is cadherin. Now if you break this name down, it, it might give you a very important clue that it is called as calcium dependent adhesion. Calcium dependent adhesion. So that's why I call cadherin, right? Because it's a calcium dependent adhering con con continuation. Now that means it's, an, it's a protein molecule and it's obviously it's a structural protein for cell. It's not uh, having any kind of other functions. It's a structural kind of protein uh, which requires calcium to properly function and to maintain the integrity of cell. And why cadherin is required? It is required for the cell-cell interaction, cell-cell, I mean, uh, the contact inhibition during the cellular growth, uh, cell division and many more processes. So what exactly cadherin does? So this, I, in my mind, I actually look about cadherin is a stitching agent. That means if you have two cells, you can't make them, I mean, you can't place them in, in our tissue because when, once the tissue is formed, that means those cells are stitched with each other, right? They're attached with each other. For the stitching purpose, here adhere, in cadherin act as the, those stitcher or any kind of, you, you can say the thread, which stitch each one of the cells together one with another so if you look at here let's say let, let, let us draw a cell so let's say this is one one cell membrane and this is another cell membrane and cadherin is a transmembrane protein might you so it's a structural protein and obviously it's a transmembrane so let me write here it's a it's not here transmembrane transmembrane structural protein okay it's a transmembrane structural protein now if you look at here these are the two different cells so for example this part is one cell this is another cell two different cells are there right these are the cell membrane of those two cells and this is the drawing of two cells this is the ex intracellular i mean extracellular this is the extra cellular matrix or ECM, better known as ECM. Okay. So what we have now is inside the cell, we have the proper cytoskeleton, which maintains the structure of the cell, right? Cytoskeleton is made up by mainly actin filaments in cells, but during the cell division and processes, we require, you know, other like microtubules and also intermediate filaments to stitch it. So this is one of the type of proteins that associate with intermediate filaments to do this teaching process. So if you look at here, so let's say now let's draw the calcium dependent addition, I mean the cadherins. So if you look at the cadherins, it will look a transmembrane. So let's say transmembrane domain is present and then let's say this is the inner side and let's say this is the outer side. Similarly, if we draw another calcium dependent protein or cadherin here it will look something like this and also the inner side like that. So these are cadherins. Okay. And inside those cells we have the cytoskeleton I have told you. The cytoskeleton means actin filament. So let us say this is the actin filament. This is the actin filaments coming out from different directions to make the proper Cyto the proper skeleton of the cell. So, this is the actin filament. For example, this is actin filament, right? F actin, let us say. Okay. So, actin is also present in this case too. So, let us draw the actin here also. Let us say the actin looks something like this here. Like that. These are also acting. This is how the cell will look like from inside, in very schematic representation. So here, these cadherins are kind of sticking out inside of the cell and also outside the cell, right? Now inside, this cadherin has the intracellular unit and the extracellular unit. 
Now using the intracellular unit, this cadherin will stick to actin, so it will bind actin with itself with the intracellular subunit. And with the extracellular unit, it will interact with the neighboring cadherin. For example, there are two cadherins, one and another are both of the neighboring cadherins of adjoining cells. So they have the duty to interconnect with themselves as well as to hold the actins of other. So what they will do actually, they will bind to this actin and bind to that actin and then they will bind with themselves to hold those two cells together. And that's the function of cadherin here. Okay. So if you look at it, how they do does that, so here in this case, uh, these are the two different cadherins. In between the cadherin portions, I mean during this process, once the cadherin is without calcium, they are functionless. But once the calcium will come and start to bind with it, calcium ions start to bind with it. In that case, the cadherin becomes very much active and they start to arrange with themselves. So they will adhere to them, themselves. So this is the self adhesion of cadherins in the extracellular matrix. Though it's very much simplified, but the process is much more complicated and involves many other proteins. Right? Proteins like we also know many different varieties of proteins are there, in, I mean intermediate filaments are there, many other things are there, but it's kind of simplified version. That's the function of cadherin. On the other hand, it has another job or duty to interact with the actins. So how would they interact with actin? For interacting with actin, they require more varieties of proteins. Though I have drawn here that they are interacted directly, but not this interaction is never direct. So how they will recruit other proteins like beta catenin. Then they will recruit alpha catenin. So these are all proteins that help two cells to come close to each other and hold them very much tightly. That's why you rub the skin and no cells are coming out of it. It's very firm, very rigid, very rigidly attached. So if you look at here, beta catenin, alpha catenin are placed and another protein that's called the vinculin. This is the vinculin. So if I mark those protein, this is vinculin. And these are catenin. So those proteins are required. Uh, beta catenin, alpha catenin, and then vinculin. Then ultimately they will be attached with the actin pyramids from different places. Same thing happens to all the cells. And the extracellular matrix, those cadherins will be adhered to each other using the calcium. So they require lot and lots of calcium for functioning properly. That's why they're calcium dependent adhesion molecules, right? So that's why the cadherins are important. It's, they are important during cell division because during the cell division, we need the cell need to manage its size so that they need to think whether the cell need to grow more or less because if they are adjoining cells very in very close proximity, they should not grow very much. So they need to sense all these things. For the sensing all these things, they are having different signaling approaches and the presence of the cadherin in the extracellular matrix is kind of helping them to understand that how much the cell need to grow during cell growth and division. It's very, very important protein for that purpose. So that's kind of it about cadherins. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe. There is a button there as well as on the top. Hit it, subscribe, like it, share the video uh, and share it every in every social networks and I hope that's helpful and all the best.